Kathy and Jenna so that the teams can log on at a different time if need be. Perfect, I see the recording button. Okay, so um, it is the DAISY Awards and Degrees and Certification Ceremony for 2021. <laughs> I can't tell you enough how proud and excited I am that we're all unfortunately sitting here behind the screen, but soon I'm going to see many of you um, at our celebrations this week. So I hope based on the numbers, it looks like a really good turnout, but please be sure to go on the employee page and pick a nurse's day that you can attend. And I know plenty of people, especially for our managers, have um, welcomed the opportunity to switch and change seats and move around so that everybody can get a chance to go. Um, it's not gonna be our usual formal presentation and awards. That's why we're doing this today on Zoom, but it will be a chance to just sit with colleagues and whether it's a breakfast or kind of a, a late lunch type of thing, hopefully the rain will hold out. Um, it'll be wonderful to see everyone. I mean, happy nurses week to everybody to all the nurses this year more than ever, I, I can't tell you, I'm so proud to be the chief nursing officer at VNA. I mean, it, personally, you have made me so proud. We know the staff that's been on the front line that they've just walked through fire. We've seen the videos, we've seen what everybody has done, but also our managers, our hiccups, no matter what you do in the company, home care, hospice, CHC, everybody has had to change every single thing they do almost every day, whether you're at home trying to manage homeschooling. I mean, the list goes on and on and on and the sacrifices are just outrageous. And yeah, we uh, some of you are very worn out and, and tired and whatnot, but overall, what I see is perseverance and love. I, I really do every single day and we have some down days, no question. But what's coming through to me here is is the care and concern and unwavering perseverance. I'll never forget it. I really, really won't. So thank you everybody. With that said, we're going to go on now with our, our DAISY Award programs and also talk about degrees and certifications that um, many of you have, have received through the pandemic. So I'm going to turn it over now to Sue Trotter. Thanks, Sue. Sue is muted. Can you hear me now? Yes. yes. Oh, hi. Good afternoon, everybody. We just want to recognize everybody who received degrees this past year. Um, there are quite a few nurses with BSN, MSNs, and we even have one manager who received a PhD this year. So we would like to celebrate and congratulate all of our nurses on their degrees. As Ellen said, it was a tough year and just managing your families, going back to school and also the patient load. Um, it's really quite a feat to juggle all those things and come out with a degree. So we wanna congratulate you and um, best of luck. And hopefully you will grow in our leadership roles. Um, we all <laughs> we also want to recognize, you know, our certifications. Um, there are certain departments in our agency where we depend on these nurses as specialists. So as you can see, here are a few, but some of them include uh, ostomy management, home care coding, oncology certified nursing, uh, certified breastfeeding counselors, and also hospice and palliative care, as long as geriatric care. So again, we wanna congratulate everybody for these certifications. Um, they are great resources and they help us to develop plans of care that are you know, special for certain patients with these needs. So again, thanks a million and take it away, Wendy. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> So most of you are familiar with our DAISY Award, but for those of you who are not, um, and for a reminder, because it's been a year since the rest of you may have heard this, but this DAISY Foundation that we participate in was established in 1999, and it was by the members of the family of Patrick Barnes, who was 30 years old and died of an autoimmune disease, ITP. Like many families we see <clears throat> who go through this kind of horrific loss, the Barnes family wanted to do something positive to honor the very special man that Patrick was. 
So they came up with DAISY, which is an acronym for diseases attacking the immune system. And as they brainstormed what the DAISY Foundation would actually do, they kept coming back to the one positive thing that they held on to during Pat's eight week illness. And that was the extraordinary care that he and they received from Pat's nurses. Next slide. The family was so impressed with the clinical care that Pat's nurses provided, but what really overwhelmed them was the compassion and the kindness that the nurses brought to his bedside day in and day out. And the nurses sensitivity made a great difference in the Barnes's experience. And they wanted to say thank you to the nurses for the extraordinary care that we provide patients and families every day. So Pat's family created the Daisy Award for Extraordinary Nurses. And what started out as a thank you from their family to nurses has grown into a meaningful recognition program embraced by healthcare organizations around the world. And you'll see um, if anybody gets New Jersey Monthly Magazine, this is the second year in a row that we're featured in there. The Daisy Award is featured in there, but many of our nurses showed up again because we had, I don't know, maybe 12 to 20 recipients last year. Um, and as Wordling, you know, submits that to the Daisy program. And they're in the New Jersey Monthly Magazine again this year. Last year, they showed us all of the 2019 recipients. And it's so great to go through the list and you see all these hospital, critical care, dialysis, and every, all the other nurses. But then you keep seeing VNA mm -hmm. Health Group, VNA Health Group, VNA Health Group. We're one of the few um, home health um, organizations that participate in the DAISY program. So it is, it's a national award, and we're proud to partner with DAISY because we have extraordinary nurses here at VNA Health Group and we wanna showcase them just as much. And this is the award that the DAISY recipients will be getting this week at the various celebrations. Um, and it's a beautiful sculpture. I don't know if any of you have ever held one that one of your colleagues got, but it's heavy and it's, it's hand carved out of stone. Um, and it's called the Healer's Touch, as you can see. And the sculptures are hand carved by the Shona artists in Zimbabwe, and that helps them to support their families. And Daisy partnered with them, and it's a meaningful way for them to make a living. And every sculpture is a little bit different. No two are exactly alike because they're hand carved and they're really beautiful. It's a beautiful award. You'll see if you go to your celebrations this week. Next slide. And here I'm going to turn it over to Ellen to begin with Englewood recipient. Okay. So we're gonna start north to south and I'm gonna read about an Englewood home health nurse. So in addition to this nurse's role as a case manager and wound ostomy specialty, specialist, she volunteered without hesitation to be trained as the COVID-19 SWAT nurse. Over the last year, I have witnessed this nurse work seamlessly with other COVID-19 SWAT nurses to provide expert patient-centered care to some of the sickest patients the agency had ever seen. The nurse's calm nature and reassurance have allayed the fears not only of our patients, but their families as well. As her manager, I have received com countless compliments and stories of how this nurse has provided the utmost competent and compassionate care, each so extremely profound that it is difficult to single out any one patient experience. In her role as case manager, our patients know they can depend on her to advocate for them to receive the best care possible. As a wound ostomy specialist, she is an amazing resource for the entire nursing team members. This nurse consistently uses evidence-based practices to promote good patient outcomes and collaborates well with the wound team. She has an unparalleled thirst for knowledge and keeps up to date with the most current wound practices and cares for her patient's benefit. She sees our patients on some of the lowest days and is tasked with assisting patients to cope with the changes in their body image. She does this with so much respect in order to provide her patients with the best possible quality of life. The nurse is selfless in all that she does and never shies away from additional tasks or responsibilities. And this Daisy goes to Patricia Mangano. Congratulations, Yay. Patricia. Yay. Okay. And the next Englewood home care nurse, this much is very much respected and dedicated member of the team. The nurse provides to her patient, the care the nurse provides to her patients is exceptional and done respectfully. This nurse is frequently requested by patients to manage their cases due to the skilled, compassionate and patient-centered care that she provides. As her manager, I am very frequent in receipt of compliments and feedback related to the care provided by this nurse. 
Overwhelmingly, patients describe this nurse, nurse as a breath of fresh air and that her visits put a smile on my face and make my day. She tirelessly and consistent, consistently meets the needs of her patients and exceeds their expectation. The care provided by this nurse is exceedingly compassionate and she persistently goes above and beyond to promote good health, healing, and patient outcomes. She excels in all aspects of her role as case manager and can always be relied on to take on additional responsibilities. She epitomizes the VNA Health Group's nursing philosophy and mission statement via the excellent patient-centered care she provides. This nurse is a tremendous advocate for her patients and truly treats her patients in a manner in which she would expect our family members to be treated. She is an invaluable asset to our team, organization, and patients. And this Daisy goes to Laura Crotty. Congratulations. Okay, now we're gonna switch over to Englewood Hospice. This nurse goes above and beyond for all of our patients and families. Patients on and off her caseload love her. She always collaborates with all disciplines in order to provide the best care that in turn provides patient, positive patient outcome. She continually receives thanks from families. And the, I am, I'm sorry, I'm missing that one line. The, the social work bereavement coordinator for the branch, every bereavement call I make, the family wants me to thank her for her compassion and helpfulness. Families comment that she makes them feel so comfortable caring for their loved ones. They feel so prepared because of her. Recently, she has been called an angel by the wife of a patient who passed. And another family stated she was so kind, generous, and thoughtful. She not only provides nursing care, she provides emotional care. She overall improves the quality of life of every hospice patient she comes in contact with. She is never off duty. If a family calls her on a day off, she is willing to help in any way she can. She will not wait until the next day. She will handle the situation right then and there. She is so kind and all of us here in Angle would cherish her, including her patients. And this Daisy goes to Nala Singh. Yay. Congratulations. Okay, now we'll move down to Robert Wood Johnson Home Health. This nurse has been an asset to RWJVN and our organization. She works closely with all RNs, giving them daily reports on the patients she sees. We have received so many compliments about this nurse from patients, families, and colleagues. She is caring and always has a positive approach with everything she does. She takes time with all patients and sees to ensure that they are receiving the best possible care. A couple of examples are below. Manager had the pleasure of speaking with the daughter of MJ. She wanted us to know, I am so grateful to the nurse that saw my mom today. I know I have been upset with the situation of my mom being discharged, but this made, nurse made up for it. My mom has had this wound for a long time and she has been the only one that has tried to really help in getting a different care and gave really good education on how I should care for the wound. She was great. Another patient EP called the office to say, I just had a call to let you know the nurse was wonderful. She could not say enough about her. And this Daisy goes to Evelyn Bian. Congratulations, a beautiful picture. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the uh, next Robert Wood Johnson visiting nurse home care. This nurse demonstrates the ability to provide quality, compassionate care to our patients and families. She practices patient family centered care to the highest degree and confers with other disciplines in order to provide the best patient, best possible patient care. One example of this is a husband and wife that this nurse cared for. The couple went through a terrible loss, pain and suffering. This nurse, along with addressing their medical needs, provided them with the expertise in behavioral health and formed a close professional bond with the family. She needed to work with outside agencies while caring for this couple and did so with ease and great respect for their privacy. She was asked by the couple to attend a memorial service that was being held for their son because in the patient's words, they needed her there because of what she did for us. Deep appreciation of all she does and the assistance that she provides to all of the patients and families she meets, this nurse exemplifies the mission and vision of VNA HG. She consistently demonstrates excellence through her clinical expertise and extraordinary 
compassion and care. She is a value to our organization and to those we serve. And this Daisy goes to Liz Hornby. Congratulations. Yay. Okay, Robert Wood Johnson, visiting nurse hospice. This nurse is soft spoken, yet confident, practical, yet compassionate. She puts people at ease at a terrible time in their lives, gently explaining the signs and symptoms of the dying process and reassures caregivers that they're doing a beautiful job and also reassures patients with symptoms to help ease, that she will help them to ease any suffering. It was a very young hospice patient. It was not a typical hospice case. The level of intervention needed and at times demanded was something that was equivalent to hospital level of care. This nurse, although able to verbalize to staff that it was an extremely demanding and challenging case, never let go of her patience and compassion for each and every family member involved. She spoke and truly listened to every person, the family, patient, young son, mother, ex-husband, sister-in-law, and friend. She even listened to us, her coworkers, vent and unload when it came to this difficult and trying case. She gave them a beautiful gift. She couldn't stop the patient from dying, but she helped ease the mental and physical suffering of the patient and all those who loved her. And this Daisy goes to Rosaria Toledo. Good job, Rosario. Hey. Okay, another RWJVN hospice. This nurse has always been a patient advocate and takes responsibility for ensuring that all of her patients' needs are met, whether it be physical, psychosocial, or spiritual. There was one case a while ago where an elderly blind man was caring for his wife. Due to his own limitations, he was experiencing difficulty with cleanliness and ensuring that the home was a safe place for his wife. He was a very proud man and wanted to ensure that he was caring. He was the one caring for his wife. This nurse made sure that she assisted the husband with finding resources and addressing immediate cleanliness concerns without insulting his pride and his ability to care for his wife. This patient eventually graduated from hospice, but her care made sure that a sad situation didn't become unsafe or tragic. Uh, and this Daisy goes to Tamara Sago. Good job, Tamara. Congratulations. Okay, and now I'm going to turn it over to Sue to continue with. Um, oh no, West Orange Hospice. I'm going to do this one too. Sorry, Sue. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, okay, so our West Orange Hospice team. This nurse is extremely extraordinary person and clinician. He is highly skilled, extremely knowledgeable, compassionate team player who cons consistently displays displays and promotes the highest ethical standards. He effectively demonstrates a positive role model and a collaborative interdisciplinary team player. Demonstrated during the COVID time to become one of the first nurses on the SWAT team to provide care, compassion to patients and families. Continually advances his own personal knowledge and exemplifies what it means to be a hospice team learner. He is a mentor and coaches our nurses in achieving the patient's comfort. I wanna share the compliment that we received from a family in regards to this nurse's care. For 20 difficult months, seven, seven of them during the vicious pandemic, you have helped me immeasurably. Your knowledge, care, and comfort helped me going through. Please give special thanks to the nurse and each one in the office who has helped. He gives his time selflessly. Because of his clinical expertise and commitment to the VNA, he is often offered to help other branches. It is an honor and privilege to work with this nurse. And this Daisy goes to Vlad Scheichman. Yay. Vlad. Okay, and our out of Homedale, our Middlesex hospice team. This nurse is always willing to go above and beyond to take care of patients. Recently, he had visited a patient who was experiencing a decline in status. When the comfort callers called the family the next day, the family made sure to let them know that they appreciated how quickly he came and resolved the issues that were bothering their mother. The daughter even developed a new saying, this nurse to the rescue, due to his efficient and compassionate care. There are often many family compliments with the most recent being that there is not enough money in the world to compensate for the compassionate care dad received. And this Daisy goes to Fernando Gregori. Good job, Fernando. Yay. 
Okay, Monmouth <laughs> South Hospice. This nurse has gone on so many visits on her time off because she usually states, I better do this visit as I know you will not find someone else to go. Also, she has made calls to patients on her off time. When I receive a call from triage and it is her patient, I never hesitate to call her because she will take care of it whether she's off or not. And she never tells me the union does not allow for her to deliver care at any time. One night she went to see a patient and I explained to her that the wife was crying, et cetera. She went to make the visit and the patient died a few hours later. I remember her calling back that day to tell her that she made a difference with the visit. And she would say, yeah, 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 anytime. The nurse is very professional when it comes to her patients. She takes the time to discuss a case or give an update as I would be sending another nurse. I have asked her why she works as a runner and she would say, they don't have anyone else to do it. This nurse has told me numerous times that this is the best job she ever had in her lifetime. And even now she is promoted, her passion to provide care to patients at home remains so strong in her heart that she's making visits and working as a runner. And this, <clears throat> Daisy, goes to Nate, sorry, Diane, Diane Renee Oster. Congratulations, hey. Diane, and thank you. Okay, another Mammoth Hospice Award winner. This nurse is a shining example of all the attributes that would be considered of an exceptional nurse. And she is unconscious, conscient, somebody else say that word with me, implements them daily in the care she provides to our patients here at VNA HG. She is one of our preceptors here in Monmouth County Hospice. So naturally we would assume she shares skills and knowledge with colleagues, students regularly. However, she often goes above and beyond for her team. She's always available to help a colleague regardless of the time or the day or her own daily work duties. In fact, it is not uncommon for her to to find her discussing a nurse's concern over the phone late at night as she is always available to address a colleague's concerns or offer support. Furthermore, you will often find her on a joint visit with a fellow nurse to assist in addressing a patient concern, teaching a skill, or providing team support on a high acuity case. Yet she goes one step further to take her team members as she was discovered this past year taking soup to a sick nurse amid, amid the beginnings of a global pandemic as well as sought out assistance for a home health aide that was struggling financially over the past year. She is a truly compassionate nurse leader. And this Daisy goes to Christine Houston. Good job, Christine. Congratulations. Okay, last but not least, Ocean Hospice. A hospice referral was received for a patient whose adult child was known, known to be verbally abusive and, and difficult to direct. The patient wanted to come home to die, and this adult child was the only caregiver. During the admission, the caregiver was difficult and verbally abusive to the nurse. This nurse did her best to redirect the caregiver and try to instruct her on the parent's care. The nurse recognized that the caregiver was really frightened at the prospect of being the primary caregiver. The hospice nurse realized the patient had very little time left and did her best to instruct on end of life care before she left the home. A few hours later, she called the caregiver to follow up, reinforce the teaching that she had done. The, care the caregiver yelled at her the whole time. At night, the caregiver called and requested an on-call visit. During the visit, the caregiver was so verbally abusive that a note was put in the chart that all future visits be done with security. The next morning, the patient expired. The admitting nurse volunteered to go back and pronounce. She was offered additional staff or security escort. She declined both, citing that it would only inflame the caregiver more. She pronounced the patient, stayed with the caregiver until the funeral home arrived. I truly think this was a heroic effort and to try to understand the caregiver and honor the patient's wishes to die in her own home. And this Daisy goes to Jackie Kona. Congratulations, Jackie. Yay. Very tough case. I do remember that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm going to do these. It's my honor to do these too. The, this is um, CHC vaccine program. Okay. Two, two uh, recipients here. This nurse was hired for the nurse residency program in December. The vaccine was then a lot of allocated to the VNA. The residency program was placed on hold and this nurse was temporarily reassigned to the COVID-19 vaccine VNA-CJ program. 
by providing the com community with these vaccines, she is making a positive difference in the lives of their patients, families, and community. She listens and acknowledges their fears and concerns and truly cares for them. We've recently partnered with Autism New Jersey, providing vaccinations to adults with special needs. I'd like to share some of the positive feedback from the caregivers of our special needs patients. Please extend our special thank you to the nurse who assisted us with our frightened son, Andrew. She showed humanity and we are so very grateful. The nurse was excellent and accommodating. The privacy tents absolutely assisted in providing for a calm and secure environment. And I can't say enough about the nurse who went out of her way to accommodate my daughter, including bringing the vaccine to her when she was too afraid to walk across the floor to the tent. Thank you. And this Daisy goes to Ticia Sanchez. Congratulations, Ticia. This nurse was hired for the nurse residency program in December. The vaccine was then allocated to the VNA and the residency program was placed on hold. Um, again, this is related to partnering with Autism New Jersey and providing vaccinations to adults with special needs. I'd like to share some of the positive feedback from the caregivers of our special needs patients. We were so appreciative and grateful for the time and care provided. My twins received their vaccines in Homedale. Staff couldn't have been more courteous, helpful, and caring. It was a seamless experience. There was no stress, confusion, or problems. The nurse was incredible, forever grateful. The nurse was fabulous with my son. Everyone was helpful and friendly. Thank you so much for a wonderful vaccine experience. Keep up the good work. It was very efficiently run and the nurse was very caring. Thank you. And this Daisy goes to Megan Doyle. Thank you, Megan, congratulations. Okay, now I have the privilege and honor to turn it over to Sue and uh, West Orange Home Care, <laughs> excuse me. Thanks, thank you, Alvin. Uh, can, you, can everybody hear me? Yep. Okay, great. This nurse exemplifies the kind of nurse that our patients and families, as well as coworkers recognize and a, as an, an outstanding role model. Her standard of care and at, attributes are reflective in the care she provides to our patients. We have received several calls and emails from patients and families complimenting her on the great care she has provided. A patient sister called to advise they appreciated the care that this nurse gave and she was always on time. She treated her brother with care and respect and wanted to thank her for being so nice and professional. Another patient called to say that this nurse was very kind and compassionate. The patient stated that if she was ever to have our services again, she would request this nurse. Mm -hmm. Another call came from a patient who complimented this nurse since she was very calm, even though the patient was not. She guided the patient during a difficult time. And the daisy goes to Joan Apiege. Yay, Joan! Yay, Joan! <laughs> okay. A patient was diagnosed status post COVID-19, was intubated and had a stage four pressure ulcer, which healed by discharge. The patient then called to say that he was pleased with all the caregivers from the VNA but his nurse deserves special mention. Among the, CIA, among the COVID epidemic, he was appreciative for the extra time she spent answering the many questions he had, teaching him how to better manage his health, and providing reassurance and making him feel at ease. He looked forward to her visits and felt very sad when his discharge date was approaching. He felt that she had gone above and beyond for him and because of her, his wounds, were healed sooner than he anticipated. He is so grateful that this nurse was sent to him. She exemplifies the meaning of nursing and is so very compassionate and professional. And the daisy goes to Carla Marshall. Hey, Carla. Hey, Carla. Beautiful pictures of the nurses, I have to say. Yeah. Yeah, Next. yeah. good job. This nurse delivers competent, compassionate care while collaborating with patients and their families, fostering communication, hope, and a sense of security. She works tirelessly and diligently and is overly patient and understanding, 
to her patients and the members of her patients' families. She understands the emotional issues that families experience when their loved ones suffer. Thus, she takes her time to explain to her mm -hmm. patients' families every detail concerning the illness and the recovery journey. She exemplifies the type of nurse that patients and family recognize as an outstanding role model. Her competency, her competence and compassion inspires others. She values the comfort of her patients and that of their families comes first. For her, you can tell that nursing is a calling and she is comfortable in all her roles. The smiles on the patient's face demonstrate her knowledge, clinical skills, and commitment to work. These attributes reflect our nursing philosophy, philosophy and mission statement, which demands care, compassion, and the undeniable desire to help those in need. And the daisy goes to Kelly Oshius. Yes. This nurse is skillful, compassionate, and renders holistic care daily. Her willingness to help people of all backgrounds and in all situations makes her extra special. From admitting patients to case management during uncertain times, we can all count on her to offer assistance. She always has a holistic perspective perspective when caring for patients, which is fundamental for nursing outcomes. She maintains close relationships with her clients and their families and often demonstrates her commitment by taking her time with her patients to ensure their well-being. There was an instance where the patient complained of having intermittent nosebleeds with dry sinuses. After a comprehensive assessment, she noticed the home was extremely warm, which may have been a contributing factor to the dry sinuses and intermittent nosebleeds. She noticed a humidifier on the corner of the floor and asked to clean and set it up for her. Almost immediately, the patient felt relief and was very appreciative. Another instance, she was caring for a patient who was blind. She noticed that although the PCA was present, all he was eating throughout the day were noodles. Not only did she refer to MSW, but she went home and brought him a bowl of homemade, homemade stew. She also reached out to the local community church who ran a pantry and picked up food for him. This is more than simply rendering care. This is a holistic approach encompassing mind, body, and spirit. She makes a significant difference in her patients' lives. And the daisy goes to Lorna Abernathy. Yay. <laughs> this nurse goes above and beyond to collaborate with individual patients and families while fostering communication. She is able to deliver competent and compassionate care by putting the patient's needs first before her very own to assure that the care she is delivering is quality and efficient. She is available at any time and serves as an outstanding mentor to her fellow colleagues and peers. Whenever she is called upon, she does not hesitate to give a helping hand, whether it is doing extra visits, admissions, or even going out of her territory. A letter from a patient describes her compassion and understanding she has for her patients. This nurse comes to my home to change the dressing on my right foot. She is always aware of what is going on around her. When she came to my home, she noticed that there was a large black and blue on my left hand. I never noticed it. It must have happened at dialysis. On another visit, when she was finished dressing my right foot, she was putting everything away. I was removing the dressing from my fistula when she noticed it was bleeding. She stopped what she was doing and immediately assisted me. I am glad that when I call the VNA and ask for a nurse, you sent me this nurse. She is very caring, compassionate, and takes good care of me. She goes above and beyond. This nurse puts her patient's needs first, which makes a significant difference in their lives. And the daisy goes to Marie Mark Charles. Yay! Okay, and the next are the Middlesex Home Health Daisy Awards. This nurse did a start of care for a patient who had multiple hospitalizations in the last few months had AV block and some other cardiac issues, causing him to be dizzy and lose consciousness. During her visit, she reviewed all the patient's meds. At that time, she identified a potential problem. According to the patient's daughter-in-law, 
due to her diligence and thoroughness, she saved this patient from going back to the emergency room again, or possibly even saving his life. My father-in-law was back and forth to the doctor or emergency for weeks, and nobody took the time or thought that this could be, this could be medication related. It was this nurse that is a godsend. The patient's daughter-in-law also said that since they corrected his medications, mm -hmm. he is less sleepy, more steady on his feet, and feeling much better overall. She asked me to thank this nurse from the bottom of their hearts for taking time to listen to them. And the daisy goes to Eileen Bennett. Yay! <laughs> A patient that was very unhappy and was ready to cancel services. This patient was just discharged from a traumatic hospital stay. She was intubated on a ventilator and her family didn't think she would survive. I persuaded her to allow me to find a nurse that will meet her needs. The patient agreed and this nurse was sent on the visit. After her visit, the patient called to thank me for sending the nurse who came in like Mary Poppins and made everything all better. A few weeks later, the same patient called me again and said, due to this nurse delivering competent and compassionate care, it saved her from going back to the hospital. The nurse had taken notice that her wound was not looking good and called her surgeon. She made several calls to get the surgeon on the phone and her persistence paid off. The patient had an infection and she was lucky it was caught that soon. The patient still is on service and is very happy with her care. The patient said that her family's life has changed for the better because of this nurse. And the daisy goes to Herlandi Mesador Oliver. Yay! Yes! Yay, Herlandi! <laughs> it's from the peanut gallery. <laughs> and our last one from Middlesex. My computer just went blank. Okay, this nurse has been with the VNA for over 20 years. She's very caring, compassionate, professional, and knowledgeable. She's always willing to help the team in difficult situation as an, and has mentored nurses as asked by her manager. I received a letter from one of her patient's daughters who described her as a good listener, knowledgeable nurse, and someone who cared what the patient had to say. As the daughter, this nurse always made her mom smile and feel like she is the most important person in the world. Another patient wrote that this nurse is very caring, compassionate, knowledgeable, and she makes me laugh. She is a great nurse and it shows she loves being a nurse. Again, I would feel and know if any of my family were under her care, she would take great care of, care of them. And the daisy goes to Brenda Shepard. Yes! Woohoo, Brenda! <laughs> Woohoo! Okay. All right. Next are Daisy Awards from the Visiting Physician Services. Okay. Above and beyond is a phrase that always seems to be used when patients and their families talk about this nurse. She's responsible for a large panel of patients that has a unique way of making each one feel special and well cared for. Her patients adore her, kind and gentle manner, and they trust her medical expertise. Seldom does a week go by that we don't hear from patients and families praising the care that she provides. It is not uncommon for this nurse to add a last minute visits and extend her workday when a patient is in need. Even that need is, even if that need is simply reassurance. Her supportive nature extends beyond patient care to her colleagues as well. She's always one of the first to cheer on her coworkers' successes and to offer encouragement during difficult times. She sets an example for other VPS clinicians with the way she is able to manage a large volume of patients without compromising the quality of care, evidenced by the fact that she's consistently a top performer in all quality metrics. And while quality metrics are important in today's medical environment, they don't track the comfort and peace of mind that this nurse brings whenever she goes. Nor do they track the number of times someone has called her an angel, a blessing or a lifesaver. But I can assure you those numbers would be above and beyond as well. And the daisy goes to 
Grace Samuel. Yay. Daisy Awards, Children and Family Health Institute. This nurse is compassionate and advocates for her clients and patients with devotion. She provides her clients with all available resources and shares new resources with her team. If there is a need that any of her clients mentions, she is on it, making phone calls, searching the web, asking the team for ideas. During the pandemic, especially there was more need. The nurse supported her clients through the challenging time, particularly a client with a history of substance use and depression who had lost her job. She checked in on her frequently as needed. Despite having their visits continually virtually, virtual, this nurse was able to provide the support and encouragement for client needed and referred her to COVID-19 recovery funds that helped client pay back rent and connected her housing pro connected her to a housing program. This is what just one of her clients said about her and I agree. My nurse is so very caring and goes above and beyond to help me in any way she can. I think she's doing an amazing job. And the daisy goes to Mary Schwartz. Yay. Yay. <laughs> For the first for the very first days of COVID-19 pandemic, this nurse has been ready, willing, and able to be of service to the community and to the agency. From home visits to a COVID-19 positive teen mom and her COVID positive newborn, to outreach to homeless citizens of Monmouth County, from suiting up to test hundreds of Ocean County employees, to stepping in to vaccinate the needing, needy, this nurse has been deeply involved in protecting and directing care for our clients. This was a time of so many unknowns and the nurse demonstrated courage and professionalism to implement the, la the latest recommendations. She utilized that knowledge to serve her clients and stepped up to help CFHI fulfill its mission to care for our vulnerable neighbors. A 99-year-old patient in Asbury Park had nice things to say about the visit he received from the nurse with the vaccine. This patient wanted the entire organization to know what an incredible visit he had with this young lady and how special she made him feel. He had enormous praise for her care, the focus on his well-being, and how well she represented the VNA. And the daisy goes to Leonora Chukowski. I hope I said that right, Leonora. Nice job. Leonora. Okay, Wendy, take it over. Before Thanks, Wendy Sue. takes it over, I have to make a comment on the background. The daisies, that's very creative, Wendy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Just I pulled up the that. daisies. <laughs> yeah. And Sorry, I'd, rather, no. I'd rather pull up the daisies than push up the daisies. No, no, push the daisies, yeah. <laughs> Okay, thank you guys. Okay, Mammoth Home Health. Uh, this nurse provides excellent care to our patients and takes charge of any given situation. She's very kind, patient, and goes beyond to make sure her clients remain knowledgeable, healthy, and safe at home. During this very challenging past year of the COVID-19 virus, she easily adapted to our new normal way of delivering patient care. She was among the first nurses to be trained as a SWAT nurse, and there was no hesitation in her decision to attend. A patient-specific story that shows the extraordinary care provided would be when she received a call from a home health aide who called to report that the husband of a patient passed away. She called me immediately to say she was on her way to the home. It is worth noting this patient was not due for a visit that day. Because the client had Alzheimer's, she was not aware that her husband had passed away. The aide had found the husband in the yard, dead as she approached the house oh. and found the patient alone in the home, gratefully in a safe condition. This was a very difficult situation as the husband was the primary caregiver and the estranged daughters were not reachable. The nurse provided compassionate care to the patient until she was safely transported to the hospital. And this Daisy goes to Amy Fallhaber. Nice job, Amy. Wow. Another home health mama. This past year, this nurse has been caring for a patient with CVA, status post craniotomy, trach, peg tube, Foley, nonverbal, and bedridden one of those light patients we don't get often. Mm -hmm. 
The patient was transferred from Ohio to New Jersey at the height of the pandemic. His wife in Ohio could not provide for him, and so the sister in New Jersey offered to be his primary caregiver. As you can imagine, this case was and is challenging medically, socially, and emotionally. But because of all the efforts put forth by this nurse, the patient has remained home, receiving excellent care. In the beginning, when the patient first came onto service, there were many, many obstacles, such as the high acuity of care, no primary physician to coordinate with, insurance issues leading to charity and self-pay. This nurse took each of these challenges in stride and conquered them all. The sister became proficient in trach care, tube feedings, fully care, oxygen safety, suctioning, medication management, and kept a bed bedridden patient free of pressure ulcers. The patient has been without a pressure ulcer since coming onto service in March of 2020 and has never had a readmission to the hospital. This nurse collaborated with therapy, social work, nutrition, and health aid services to give the patient the best quality of life as possible. This nurse is extraordinary, and I am grateful to have her as part of the team. And this Daisy goes to Anne Marie Keenan. And another Mammoth Home Health nurse recently received a referral from the Cancer Institute of New Jersey for home IV hydration and Neupogen injection instruction. The patient is in her 80s and was recently diagnosed with cancer. She is going through daily radiation treatments and chemo simultaneously. Her husband is also in his 80s and is with her through all of this. She was also diagnosed with an anxiety issue. So the patient did not want the IV due to her concern that her husband would have to stop the IV hydration. He also has to learn how to give her Neupogen injection. Needless to say, her anxiety was palpable and understandable. This nurse assessed the situation with the patient and husband and gave them the support and care they desperately needed from someone. She kept the lines of communication open with them and this resulted in the patient resuming the IV hydration. This nurse exhibits professionalism, intelligence, skill and caring to the highest degree and should be held up as an example of a shining star to our profession. This Daisy goes to Maribel Figueroa Burgos. Of Maribel. And another Mammoth Home Health nurse. This nurse delivers competent and compassionate care with every patient under her watch. During a recent routine home care visit to assess a patient's suprapubic tube, this routine visit became a collaboration among a number of disciplines involved in the patient care, all with this nurse's leadership. This particular patient resides in a group home is nonverbal, does hear and follow instructions. During her assessment, she noted that the patient was scratching his arm, which appeared to have hot and was quite comfortable. While interacting with an employee, he reported that the patient started an antibiotic the prior evening. He reached out to the RN in charge of this particular home, who was not on site, then called not one doctor, but two doctors who were involved in the patient's care. While all of this was going on, this nurse committed uh, continued contact with her patient. Through her communication skills and mannerism, she maintained a reassuring presence that assisted in keeping her patient calm, as well as providing education to the employee as to the signs and symptoms to monitor. She could not leave her patient in this predicament, even though she did report to the RN and doctor. She followed through to ensure the patient's needs were met. Her use of evidence-based practice and collaboration with community team member achieved a positive, a positive patient outcome. And the daisy goes to mm -hmm. Peggy Mendy. Okay. okay, another Mammoth Home Health. This nurse is known on the team as someone who you can count on and ask for help. She never declines our request. I respect the tireless efforts that this nurse has continued to perform every day out in the community. In particular, we need to acknowledge the area and the underserved population that she serves. As the primary nurse in Asbury Park, she serves a pivotal role for the agency and the community. I have one family I would like to mention that provides an example of the care and compassion provided by this nurse. She has taken care of a family for many years. The family have expressed that she goes above the level of care in calling her, taking the time to make sure she understands the medication and how to provide proper care. This family has received donations from BNA and many hours of care and case management from this nurse. 
She has connections in the community to help facilitate better coordination of care. And this Daisy goes to Kathy Kalazuski. And the Community Health Center, CHC. This nurse is very conscientious and always takes the responsibilities no matter how big or major. Her kind empathy for patients and dedication to her duties as well as her coworkers is impeccable. She will assist with patients, vaccines, and any other tasks as assigned to her. You will always see her with a smile on her face no matter how exhausted she may be. We are grateful and honored to have her on the team. And the daisy goes to? Kathleen Vorlos. And whoever's talking, um, mute your line, please. Thank you. Okay, Ocean Home Health. Ocean Home Health. This nurse is a team player and a tremendous asset to this team. Her nursing knowledge and her personality is so evident in the care and kindness she shows all her patients and families. No patient is ever too difficult for this nurse to handle. She will also go way out of her area for a patient that needs that certain touch and personality. She has taken on a good amount of both difficult and sick patients. One in particular was a younger woman with a Foley, wound vac, and an IV. The patient also had a very debilitating, demyelinating disease process. Needless to say, this patient was bedbound, totally dependent. Even though she had a very supportive husband, he had to work full time. The nurse spared no resource in getting the patient everything she needed to be safe and comfortable at the home. This included therapy, social work, home health aid five days a week. She herself would meet the home health aid at the patient's home due to the Hoyer lift transfer with her. She would also juggle her time off to accommodate this patient. I've seen this nurse teach patients about every aspect of their care um, in a way where the patient would understand what was being taught to them. She has taken on precepting new nurses when needed, also as her skills are excellent with some of our higher tech patients. And the daisy goes to Lisa Trainer. Good name for a preceptor. Okay. And then we have Ohio. Ohio Home Health. This nurse works tirelessly every weekend. She continually works through her day, helping her patients be on the call of duty. She never seems stressed or rushed, never complaining, always having smiles and good words for everyone. I will catch her still calling doctors, <clears throat> excuse me, ordering supplies or sending reports way into the week, making sure the patients have everything they need to succeed. Her positive energy and helpfulness are exemplary and should not go unnoticed. The last weekend I worked with this nurse as a manager, the weekend was coming to an end and we just didn't have enough nurses to cover the patients. This nurse called me and volunteered to help even after her long shifts. She cares for each and every patient she sees and her fellow coworkers. Nobody is more or less important than the next. They are all important to her. This nurse is one of the best nurses I have met. I have such respect for what she did in making my transition from hospital to home comfortable. I was so scared when I came home with IV antibiotics. She was able to teach me and calm me. I wanted her to know how much I appreciate her and thank her for her patience with me during this time. And the daisy goes to Anna Pack Adams. Nice job, Anna. Another Ohio home health. This nurse has been from the beginning devoted herself to caring for unique and complex groups of patients. She is a born leader and has made countless contributions. She was one of Ohio's COVID-19 SWAT team members during the beginning and has been instrumental in this role, embracing the challenges and change with innovative strategies. She has also volunteered to be a preceptor to multiple new team nurses. In this role, she had been able to show the nurses what home care is all about and what the nursing role means to the community. I have received so many compliments from patients. This nurse is the best. I would not want anyone else caring for my husband. She comes in singing and chatting. On occasion, she will even stop and bring his favorite sandwich. My husband loves the days that she comes, even if it is just to perform wound care. I can see his eyes light up when she walks in. I want to thank her for giving the best care. I don't know where we would be without this nurse. And the daisy goes to Mary Palmer. Good job, Mary. 
another Ohio home health. This nurse is a leader on our team who exemplifies grace under pressure and is a calm voice in difficult situations. Our team has had a lot of changes and had faced some challenges this year like so many in healthcare. She has emerged as a team leader willing to be flexible, tough, and so resilient. Very often, she is the gal I send in for service and care recovery because she is an incredibly skilled clinician, but is also very good at harboring relationships with a strong focus on patient needs. Her patients speak highly of her as do her colleagues. She is a brave and ethical nurse who demonstrated this to me when she witnessed poor infection control procedures during a COVID visit. She encouraged and coached the person to follow procedures and protocols to ensure a safe experience, optimal patient care, and infection control for everyone involved. She is always a voice and advocate for her patients and is quick to find creative ways to get their needs met. I have had the pleasure of working with this nurse in the field and she continues to impress me with her devotion to patient care, teamwork, VNA and her natural ability to get any job well done. I am grateful to have her on my team. And the daisy goes to Angela Voland. And that's the end of our daisies. And remember, whether it was Ohio, Florida, or New Jersey, May's edition of New Jersey Monthly Magazine, we're all in there from last year. We'll all be in there next year. We hope to see you with the various celebrations this week in New Jersey. And Ellen or Sue, did you guys want to add anything? Sure. It was inspiring. And, you know, not everybody can win an award, but in my eyes, you've all won awards. And thank you for taking the hour out and just to recognize each other and to keep the spirit moving forward. These are still difficult times, but uh, I see hope. I see light at the end of the tunnel. And, um, I really hope to see all of you at one of the celebrations, even if it's just, you know, just to sit and say hello will, will be wonderful. I really appreciate everything everybody does and um, take care of yourselves and your families very much. Sue, do you, do you wanna say anything? I'm sorry. Yeah, no, that's okay. I just wanted to tell everybody, thank you. Um, you know, we have such a great visiting staff, um, but also on this day, we wanna recommend recognize all of our support staff and the nurses behind the scenes, like extended hours and our, our intake coordinators, our OASIS reviewers. So just a shout out to everybody. You all do a great job and I am so happy to work with each and every one of you. Yes, hang in everybody. See you soon. Yep. Thank you all. Bye-bye.